A spring is created when water from an aquifer overflows onto the ground surface. Springs range in size, with some having hundreds of millions of gallons of water flowing from the ground every single day. The groundwater is filtered through the aquifer by permeable rocks, and that's what makes the water crystal clear. The springs are beautiful and attract a lot of people, sometimes hundreds at a time. Due to COVID-19, all of the springs are closed to the public, which gives an incredible opportunity to researchers like Dr. Jerry Johnston to survey the area for turtles and potentially other shy species that would not be out and about with hundreds of people around. So Chris and Dr. Johnston are heading out to see what they can find. We're Chris and Gabby. We're just your average couple with a passion for wildlife. Okay, or not so average. We're professional animal handlers living in South Florida. We work with dangerous animals on a daily basis. Nothing is off limits, and we never know what kind of crazy animal we're going to run into next. Join us as we explore, adventure, and travel to new and amazing places. Welcome to our wild world. Hey everybody, so today we're gonna to be swimming through the Itchituckney Spring Run. It's gonna be incredible. So today's adventure is basically trying to document this area and explore, and what makes this really special today is that it's closed to the public. Due to the whole COVID crisis, this park has been closed for the last two months. Nobody's been allowed in here, and we're only allowed in today. It's still closed today. We're only allowed today because we're here doing research for Dr. Johnson's project here, okay? If you guys can see, I'm doing selfie style, so I don't know how the angles are looking there. But uh, but yeah, so we're in here with special permission, and we're going to be the only ones on the river, and we're hoping to try to document how this looks now that there haven't been people in here. This is a very popular tourist spot, and it's awesome. We love to see people coming in and enjoying natural Florida and exploring, but it also disturbs things a little bit. It stirs it up, and the vegetation and some of the shy animals may not be uh, as readily available during those times. So right now, we're really hoping to see some of this. Um, anything else you want to say about like kind of? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really excited to get in the water right now because this is an unusual time. Um, normally there's hundreds of people in the water here and when we snorkel and we try to do surveys of counting turtles, well, what about the shy turtles? Or what about all the other animals that may be really shy that we don't see? So today we could potentially see some things that we've just never seen before, unusual behaviors. Um, we don't know. So the greatest thing is just to put yourself in the water and be allowed to experience whatever's here. But we're gonna document a really special period in time. We're gonna take photographs, we're gonna take some videos, um, and then we'll be able to look back on this time and say, this was what was in here. And it's really exciting.
take a look at the back of the snapping turtle shell, you'll actually see a few small holes and scratches. This is likely from an alligator trying to eat it. Without hundreds of people stirring up the water, and with Chris being slow, the snapping turtle actually allows him to pull the leeches off his back. After the leeches are removed, it's time to see if the turtle is tagged.
I have no idea if you guys can hear me in there, but I just found a big common snapping turtle. Is as I'm photographing it, this like eight foot alligator comes about this far from my face, just zooms right next to me. That was ridiculous. So I'm gonna see if we can see him in here. <laughs> 